Hey guys, uh, this uh, could be the true acid test to see if uh, my soldering will hold uh, 100 pounds of pressure or so. Got it all uh, ready to go here. I'll just show you what I did here to tie everything up. Uh, first, I'll start at the top here. So, uh, up at that elbow there is where I'd cut off the old one and uh, cleaned up the uh, pipe and re soldered um, a new elbow on. Came down vertically into a couple 45s against the wall and all down vertically. And then just put one of these uh, fittings on the end there. You can screw it to the wall and then uh, put in a uh, female uh, straight to uh, thread. Then I got a high pressure hydraulic hose here, which is um, actually a little bit overkill. And uh, after I had got it, uh, this was something my brother was supposed to get me. And uh, I ended up getting myself, and I think I ended up paying full cost for it. And I printer tipped over uh, once I discovered uh, what that hose cost me. So uh, this fitting here alone, just this 90 degree crimp fitting is about 30 bucks. So I was planning on spending 30 bucks for the whole hose, not just for one fitting. So. Anyway, it's water over the dam, got it working. So I uh, just went into uh, put an elbow on here, which I wish I would have known about or just take the time to think about it, could have done here. But anyways, uh, water over the dam. Got the uh, regulator and water separator mounted and then uh, ball valve going to the tank. And then this here is just basically to su support the uh, weight of the regulator and uh, water separator and then any flex that goes in that. So. I'm going to uh, fire it up and uh, let it build up pressure and once it's uh, built up to its uh, 160 pounds I'm going to uh, slowly open this uh, ball valve here and then uh, this is zeroed out right now that I'm going to raise this up slowly listen for any leaks and then uh, set this up to about 100 pounds so all right here we go. that pump up a little bit and uh, I'll walk over to the other side of the shop here and I guess I just can't get accustomed to as far how quiet it is. The old Camel Hostel always knew when it was running so. You can kind of hear it chugging in the background. We'll turn some lights on here. <clears throat> Yeah, you can hear it. Not bad though, not compared to my old Campbell Hulsefield. A friend of mine from Mark is actually uh, one of our in-house paint reps. Uh, he actually had bought the old one and uh, came by and picked it up today. And uh, I think he'll be happy with it. Uh, I noticed that when I took the old one out that um, it, uh, I'm not sure as far as for the use I was doing, how much longer it would last it. There was definitely, uh, I noticed a lot of fresh oil uh, kind of laying up on top of the cylinder so the, I know the gasket was going bad but like I said that knock was just getting worse so um, he's happy with it because he's not going to use it near as much as what I did it's just more so to have a compressor to fill up a tire and uh, his other reason he wanted it for was to um, winterize his sprinkler system uh, in the fall time to uh, blow out his uh, water lines so he's going to walk over and uh, see how the compressor is doing now, in case you wondered, uh, the air compressor is not actually in my shop. Um, it is actually in uh, the shop next door, which is actually my dad's shop. Is also the landlord. Um, anyways, uh, this was something kind of a, my own project, but uh, he was in agreement to that. Uh, hey, there's nothing wrong with the new compressor. So. Open up the pressure regulator 
plumber. That would be my dad. But uh, he's been pretty busy lately, and the last thing he wants to do is work on something like this, and he's been working on it all day, so, or on something similar all day. So I took it upon myself to do it, and uh, being that he's taught me everything that I know as far as plumbing and electrical, I figured uh, give it a shot. What's the worst case to be? It leaks. So you just got to redo it. So we'll see how it goes. It's not like it's water. It's a little bit different if you're doing a water heater or water softener or anything like that. But about 145. All right, now for the moment of truth. I'm going to slowly open this up. Okay. So now we have air pressure here. Okay. Now I'm going to slowly open this up. Thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Eighty, ninety, one hundred. I don't hear anything hissing. Must mean my backyard soldering must uh, actually be holding. So, my dad told me either it's going to hold or it's not. I'll know right away. So, we are currently at. A little over 100 pounds. There we go. That'll be more than enough for what I need to do and also for what he needs to do. So uh, my air sander requires 90 PSI, so I'll regulate that at the other side of the 90. And uh, he doesn't need any more than 100. He actually doesn't even need that either. We're both after volume. so. Uh, I'm not running an impact wrench, so I don't need that. And plus, if I need, need to use an impact wrench, I can always crank this up for the time being. So, And like I said, the more I look at it, this hose is definitely overkill, but uh, it'll never fail. All right, so this uh, concludes the Quincy QR325 uh, air compressor updates. Um, I might do a video yet here in the future as far as using my air sander and seeing uh, how this compressor uh, catches up, which is uh, quite quite awesome. Uh, if you saw the last one of the last videos I posted, you saw that the uh, recovery time um, without any air being drawn is a minute and 22 seconds approximately, um, or a little over a minute I should say. And uh, I did do some testing with this when the compressor was on the other side of the shop and um, I was using my air sander set at uh, 90 psi a little mini regulator on the side and uh, it would take about a minute and 50 or 52 seconds somewhere on there to get the compressor to start from um, at that point I had it set up at 175 to uh, I think it was 145 because the original uh, pressure switch had a 30 psi differential and I think this one has a 40. But anyways, uh, so take about a minute and uh, 50 some seconds to drain the tank to get the compressor to start um, with an air sander that uh, draws, I think it's 15 CFMs and I know it's 90 PSI. 
And uh, with that being said, uh, the compressor took two minutes and 38 seconds or something like that for the compressor to catch back up and shut off. So yeah, it still cycles a little bit, but my old camera house field never shut off once it started, it kept on going. It would never uh, ever catch up. And it definitely got a lot worse over the years because it was definitely worn out. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the series and uh, questions and comments are welcome. Thanks for watching.